Hello everybody and welcome to my very first makeup tutorial. Um, I'm kind of laughing because after, of course I filmed this intro after I do my makeup and I was having a lot of issues using, well, photo booth on my computer and because it kept freezing so I will just apologize for that right now. I will kind of edit the best I can. Um, but I texted my really good friend who knows computers inside and out and knows Apple because I will give my husband credit, he also knows computers too, but he knows Oh my gosh, see this is the opposite. He knows PCs. How do I? I'm not used to it. <laughs> he knows PCs. Um, my friend knows Apple. I use Apple because I make videos and um, Apple is a better for video making. Anyways, enough about that. So I'm just laughing because this using QuickTime is way better than what I was using before. So I apologize. But this is my first one and it's always a learning experience. So I'm just really excited to show you. So today I'm creating um, an everyday makeup look. So this is this is the look. Um, this is what I use when I'm going, you know, just day to day, everyday kind of thing. Um, what I would do if I was going to work. Of course I'm on mat leave right now. So um, sometimes, quite honestly, I don't wear any makeup. But um, this is just a really quick, easy routine. Um, I would say it's pretty basic. You could simplify it even more if you wanted to, but for me, this is the basic as it gets. Obviously, if I'm having an event or I'm going someplace, I am definitely going to add a lot more to my makeup, um, but not in the case when I just want to go about my day. So please enjoy, please bear with me. Um, I really look forward to doing a lot more of these because I finally figured out my nap, my son's nap schedule, woohoo, um, who is actually awake right now. So it was kind of a perfect timing and please enjoy. Um, please send me some love and some likes. Mwah. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I've already washed my face with my R9, which is my anti-aging skincare line. It is, um, has dramatically improved and changed my skin for obviously the better and really tightened it up and cleaned up my complexion and really helped with some acne. So I'm going to start with my lips. Um, I always like to moisturize my lips so that when I go to put my lipstick on or lip liner or whatever, um, I'm not going to have like the crackly gross lips. So, um, lip gloss or lip balm, sorry, put that on. And then I'm going to put our lip treatment on. So this lip treatment is actually really meant to help plumping up the lips and kind of help any of those um, fine lines that that grow, go into your lips, you know, as we age. <laughs> but what I really like about this is it kind of acts like a primer. So it really helps to lock in that moisture um, and then really use as a primer for your, for your lipstick after. Okay, so I'm going to prime my face first. This is really going to, as you can tell, a little bit oil. It's really going to help mattify that out. Um, this primer is by far the absolute best primer I have ever tried, and I have tried a lot. Um, it is just a wonder. It helps just fill in your pores, and you should always be using a primer um, before you put on your foundation. So I just put my primer all over my face, and then I'm going to go in with my CC cream. A CC cream is just a really great um, light to medium coverage. It um, has like 10 effects in one, like, and it has a primer in it already. There's no SPF in this one, um, but I really like just the way my skin looks after. So I use it with my fingers, and I apply it everywhere. I have my mirror below, and I need to get close because I wear glasses, and it's kind of hard to see. So I use my fingers, and I like to use my fingers purely just because I find... Um, the, my body temperature just warms up the product and just allows it to be spread evenly. So, getting a little bit of a glare, but okay, I've been trying to work against that glare that I'm getting. Um, okay, so the next step is a mineral powder. So, this is a loose powder and it has SPF 15 in it, it's full coverage. Um, this is my absolute favorite. I sometimes will skip the CC cream step and just do the primer with the mineral powder. So, I'm just dabbing my brush right into there tap off the excess and this will help immediately with that glare. I just love the coverage you get with this um, and I love the look of my skin after I use my mineral powder. So I'm going to avoid the under eye area because I have a concealer for that. The next step here is my concealer. <laughs> it's hidden. Concealer on my ears is so red. 
<laughs> concealer. This is our liquid uh, cream concealer. It's absolutely favorite. When I do contouring, I definitely use my concealers. Oh my gosh, guys. I can't wait for my next video where I'll be doing contouring and highlighting. So like I said, this is just a basic face. So just for sanitary reasons, just because I use this on everybody else, I roll a little bit onto the back of my hand. And I am using our concealer brush. So it has two sides on it, synthetic brush. Um, all of our brushes are actually synthetic, and that is just because we are a vegan company, and um, we would make real animal hair pot ones anyway. So I'm doing my under eye area, and I basically draw like a, a triangle under my eye. I'm using the color Fair. And under your eye area, is you want to actually go lighter than your what you'd put on for the rest of your face because you're really going to brighten up that air, that area. And I'll show you here. Okay. So I'm not going to do this eye. And then what I'm going to do is flip it over to the fluffy part and buff it out. You want to go back and forth. Because if you always went outwards, you're actually just pushing that product away and essentially just pulling it off of your face. There. See how like brighter this eye already looks with that? I think it's just such an amazing product. Um, the other, I almost put it right on my face. The other areas that I'm going to use my concealer for. It's right under my nose. Okay, so now I'm going to shape, just bring a little bit of shape into my cheeks. Um, I'm going to my eyeshadow palette, and I'm going to use this color right here, which is Pebble. Taking an angled brush, I'm going to just like pinch it. And right in that line. And the reason why I'm using this color is um, just because contouring is like adding a shadow, right? It's, it's shadows and shadows are a little bit more on the cool tone. Um, and, and definitely in the cheeks, I like to add in a little bit of cool tone. And this is just, obviously it just brings in a little bit of shape and you can all blend that out later. Um, and then my bronzer, I'm going to, so bronzer is not meant to go all over your face to make it look tanned. Um, it's kind of like where the sun will hit your face. Um, it's just to, meant to give you a little bit more of a sun-kissed look. So I play, applied the pebble here. My bronzer is actually just going to go slightly above. And then a little bit into the temples again. This is just to add just a little bit of dimension into the face and not make it look so flat. And then I'm going to add my blush. And blush will just go a little bit above that line again. So this is the color Taffeta. It is a very, very, very pretty pink. It's bright pink. And I'm just going to go focus. But, um, and people would be very, very scared to put this on, but trust me guys, it's a very pretty color. So I'm just tapping my brush in it. And above that line, a little bit onto the cheeks. I'm kind of just blending it right into that contour line. So above and a bit. I'm going to go back with my big powder brush now. Um, and I'm going to just blend it all out. There, so that's really all you need for for face. I'm gonna get into the eyes. I'm keeping the eyes again really simple. When I keep my eyes simple, I usually uh, go a little bit more bold with my eyebrows. So I'm using an eye makeup primer first, and I like to do that before I do my brows so that my brow makeup will also last longer. So I'm just putting some onto the my eyelids and I'm going in with my finger. And then 
going to start doing my eyebrows. So I'm using a pencil, and this is the in the color dark. Every day I would probably just use the medium color, but again, because I'm going with a little bit more, I'm waiting for it to catch up. A bold eyebrow. Now I'm going to go with my eyebrow cream. That is not the brow cream. Uh, here it is. I always have the two mixed up. So brow cream is like mascara for your eyebrows. Um, I, this is my favorite eyebrow product by far. I still love to do the pencil however I know a lot of people who just use this just to add a little bit more color especially if you have the invisible eyebrow. This really just brings out your eyebrows a little bit. Um, so it's a colored cream and has a spool brush on it and you just kind of really lightly comb through your eyebrow hairs. So eyebrows are really important for you to do. They're kind of like a, the picture frame for your face. Um, just like how a picture looks better in a picture frame, I, your entire face will look a lot better with your eyebrows done. So if you don't already do your eyebrows, I strongly encourage you to give them a try and definitely start with this product here. Um, that will totally just make to make a little bit of a change um, for you and just really add in that little impact. And I can guarantee you people will be like, wow, like what did you do different? That is my, so now I'm gonna start doing my eyeshadow again. Just a very, very basic look. So I'm just gonna pick two colors. Um, first color is gonna be Slate, which is this top color right there. Um, and that is just very like, kind of like a brulee look color. Um, and I'm gonna apply that all over. And the reason why I apply this all over is it's gonna actually set my eye makeup primer. And just like how you would set a concealer, So for our crease color, I'm going to go back with that pebble and add in, I believe this one's truffle. I actually don't know, I'll have to double check, truffle. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna actually mix the two. And just, I don't know. And wherever you, that crease is, I'm going to go back with my fluffy, fluffier brush here and I'm just going to blend it out. Ooh, so nothing really too intense, but just a really nice, simple way to line my eyes. I'm going to use Karab, it's just a dark brown color. Okay, so very last step is mascara. Um, so I put on the eyeliner on my waterline, my bottom line there as well. Um, you can do that, you don't have to. I definitely don't go too far in um, because then I find it just kind of really accentuates that droop in your eye. So I just go like three quarters to halfway there and I just actually just soften it with a angled brush too. Um, so I'm gonna use mascara. So obviously I have, um, extensions on, um, but our mascara is safe for extensions because it is water-based. Um, and I just really like to add mascara onto my extensions. Um, I don't know if this is actually a good thing or not. Um, if my <laughs> eyelash lady is watching, she's probably just like rolling her eyes at me, but um, I like to do it just because when you use powder, it sometimes just falls onto your eyelashes and then I just feel like the mascara just kind of cleans up that look. Um, but I also like to put it on my bottom lashes too trick is actually to do your bottom lashes first because then you're not doing your top lashes and then when you go to look up to get the bottom lashes you end up with mascara out there so that's just my trick is do your bottom lashes first I actually learned that from from somebody else and then I just do a very basic quick I absolutely love our mascara guys it's um, there's no carbon black in it or, or any tar, um, carbon black is actually fat poop, that's really gross to me, um, so I'm quite proud, and they actually are really, there's peptides in our mascara that are meant to strengthen and lengthen your eyelashes. Okay, 
I'm just going to put a finish the look with some lip gloss, and I'm using my Kala lip gloss, so it's just a very basic kind of neutral color. That's the done look, so just a very simple everyday kind of makeup look that I like to wear, um, you know, at work or just going out to about town. Um, I definitely like to do a little bit more to it if I'm doing something special that day. Um, however, being a mom, sometimes you don't even have time to do this. So, um, yeah, so this is just something that simple that I really I hope like. you guys enjoyed my makeup routine, and thank you very much if you got to this point for watching till the end. I have now obviously been joined by my dog and my son, Benley, who is 10 months old already. Uh, he enjoyed watching me do this video. Um, and yes, I want to thank you guys, and I look forward to doing a lot more. And excited to do the contouring and highlighting one. So that'll be up, uh, I don't know when, because you know what? I'm a mom and I'm busy. So, um, yeah. So thank you guys again. Love you all.